Okay, so moving on, let's take a look at how the process would work for somebody who walked up to your takeout window. So we're not going to click delivery because it's not for delivery. Uh, we will click paid because if they walked up, they're going to pay before, before you process the order. So then we would start with the telephone number search. So in this case, we'll go for somebody that already exists. And we can once again find our handy dandy Joe Smith. And Joe Smith's information will all be populated for us. And we'll immediately go to the order now. Now, notice that the delivery information doesn't even exist. Yes, it's stored in the background, but we don't need it because this is a walk-up or a pickup order. So it doesn't get in your way. It's just here. And again, we can see everything that they ordered in the past. So we can carry on to process the order for Mr. Joe Smith right now. And we're going to actually say that he's really in the mood for some hot wings. So he's going to have three orders of Frank's Red Hot. Then the process is pretty much exactly the same as you saw it before. You'll see print a ticket and you print your ticket and then you say close and add new order. So we basically just completed an order very, very efficiently for someone who was in the system. Let's say I had a walk up that wasn't in the system. So we'll go ahead and we'll put in a number that we know doesn't exist and we'll finish completing it because that's what we need to do. And then we'll put in the email address. Always try to collect the email addresses. It just helps a whole bunch in your ability to invite people back to order again or push them to your online ordering if you implement that as well. Of course, the system does all of that. And we're going to say this is Fred Jackson. Again, it splits the name. We can go ahead and we can say save the contact. And we then go on to place the order. And because, again, they're right in front of us, we don't need to actually uh, have anything to do with their address. So the system hides it just to keep it efficient and save you from doing data entry that you don't need to do. And same thing, we get to the end of the process, we can print the ticket, we could take their credit card by PayPal because I didn't mark it as paid. Notice that it asked me if I would like to actually take their credit card. If I had marked it as paid, as in the previous attempt, you'll see that it didn't actually show the ability to pay because it knew it was paid. So those are all important for the future statuses. And now you've seen how to do all the various types of orders of the people that you're interacting with directly. Please see our other video to learn how it works from the customer's perspective to just go use your online order interface that you can set up within about 20 minutes.